that you feel trapped inside this house? What's going on guys, Robin with Thunder Adventures. And right now, I'm standing in front of the Marijuana Mansion, built in 1889. This place is three stories tall and has a basement underneath. We're going to have spooky entities inside, nothing too threatening, but we'll also check it out. Me, Robbie, and when I walked in, I met Cody here. She works here and she's been totally awesome. She's very, very helpful and she knows a lot more than what I found out online. So, um, what can you tell me about this place? So, this is the Cresswell Mansion, formerly, it's now Marijuana Mansion. It was built in 1889 by John Hubbard for the Cresswell family. And one of the main focal points we see is that there's really unique carvings on the outside of the building. A lot are um, based in darker mythologies. It seems it's speculated that one is Satan's face. Um, that's only speculation, but it is creepy, no matter what, when you look oh, at that Oh, wow. There. Yeah, you showed me the picture, and that... It doesn't wow. do justice, Holy honestly. Crap. That and is then so you see cool. gargoyles up top. There's these darker dogs above the windows, and they're from the uh, British Isles. And wow. those are called griffins or something like that. But a lot of the carvings are a lot darker. Oh, there they are. That one under the window, excuse me. Okay. Oh, wow. That is so cool. I didn't really even notice all that design and detail. It kind of blends in with the It really side. does. <laughs> it really does. That is so cool. And and what goes around this way? Is there any more on this no, side? Not that I've seen. This looks like it's been a little bit more taken over by modernization. But there are carvings on the upper right side, the pillars, if you will. And then one of the stories is that there's an Asian influenced dog on the upper sides and it's in tradition for that kind of um, entryway it's supposed to be a female dog and a male dog. Okay. Um, when someone built this building whether it was on purpose or they accidentally didn't really know their history um, there's two male entities instead and okay. that's said to bring in a lot of different uh, weird energies to the ley lines of the building okay um and that kind of thing whether you believe it or not still makes it look <laughs> a lot darker with the two male entities yeah of course absolutely all right well let's uh, take a look inside okay i love that ceiling all right so uh coming in i mean is all this original is, um, I believe so. I oh believe wow, it's working. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's working. We got the boiler system. This is actually really cool. Oh wow. This is, um, this is a really old heater system, and it was actually used to like put your dishes in there to keep your dishes warm before putting food on them and different things oh, like that. Oh wow. But a lot of this place is original. It's incredible. That is so crazy that they had inventions like that. I, this is the first I've heard of that. I know. That's pretty cool. It's got, luckily, uh, it had oh, some info for me right there. But uh, it's the first I've ever seen anything like that as well. Is is the wood floor original, or is this redone? I, it almost I'm looks like sure. it's redone. It almost. I imagine it was redone, <laughs> but modeled after its original glory. The fireplace is original. This this guy. Wow, beautiful. And I believe this as well. Excuse 
No, you're good. Wow, that's beautiful. Now, the phone, I saw this phone over here. Is this, is this original? Because that phone is so cool. I'm not sure if it's original <laughs> to the building itself. It's definitely accurate as far as time period goes, but I'm not sure if they got that and put it right there or if it was already there. 2012 Amendment 64 was written here, helping to reform the marijuana laws and legalize weed in Colorado. So freaking awesome. And you said this building was built in 1889. Yes. And the first owner of this place was who again? The Cresswell family. The Cresswell family, the that's right. Mr. Cresswell did steam technology for the city for a lot of the corporate buildings okay. that were popping up in Denver to help sure. keep those buildings. All right, so we'll go up here. Okay. A lot of that's more offices and our gift shop. The stained glass is original. Oh, wow, that's beautiful. I love this staircase. I know. This is so cool. So then this room's going to be modeled after the era that the house was built in. Wow. <laughs> this is a creepy room. Yes. I love this room. This is the one where people report a lot when they are standing outside of the building that they can see a womanly figure inside the window here. A womanly figure standing right here. Yep. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm already creeped out. Look at that. <laughs> that is so freaking awesome. Wow. Oh no, get out of here. <laughs> what? No way. No, look at this. Oh my gosh. My mind is blown. My mind is blown away. Oh my gosh, is this a Ouija board? Whoa. I tend not to hang out in here next to the Ouija board. <laughs> Holy moly. Marijuana mansion. All right. All right. Back in business. Wow. <laughs> my mind is blown right now. Oh my gosh. Look at all this old stuff. Like, there's just. And that looks original. There's no doubt this looks original. I think a oh, lot yes. of some of like, these things that were left around were a part of the household. Oh my gosh. But I know so the designer, cool. when they did come back in and try to restore it, got oh. as many things as they could that were very reminiscent of the era that it was made. Right. Now, they did pretty good on picking out the, the stuff, but man, <laughs> y'all really went all out. I love this. I love this. And you're here by yourself. Yeah. <laughs> so cool. Oh my gosh. We uh we call the entity Bobby, to be honest with you. The entity that hangs out here, y'all call it Bobby? Yeah, when things start going off or turning right. on or He's you got feel a that name. cool chill. Um we like to recognize them okay. and just make sure. peace with them, to be honest. And he's pretty cool, you don't yeah. bother. Hey, that's it that's seems all they want sometimes. Than malevolence. Right. Um, but it, right. there's definitely stories of benevolence within the building as well. Sure. People felt very uncomfortable. People felt as though something was running up behind them. Okay. But think... These are more just photo op rooms, so oh. feel free to check them out. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is so freaking cool. Wow. Ellie Paisley. She did the cards. whole interior of the room. Uh, she's a wonderful artist. Whoa. That is so freaking cool. Oh yeah, that's comfy. The Amazon music with the spider, that's hilarious. Yeah. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. I gotta look at this restroom. This restroom... The, the window, and it's beautiful. Yes, this restroom is really cool. I just like restrooms. That no, sink. I actually, whenever people come in and ask where it is, there's one on each floor, but I tell them to go to the second floor one, because it's the most beautiful. I love that sink. I didn't see this room. Oh, I'm so sorry. No, you're good, you're good. So this is more of our mod 60s, 70s room. This room is super cool. Uh, lots of art on the walls, reminiscent of the psychedelic era. Wow. Oh my gosh. Pink Floyd. Wow. Good freaking choice. 
Nice. Oh, that's a good one. So this will be the second room where people experience the most activity. I'll take you to that in a second, though. Okay. We'll start with these ones over here. Awesome. Whoa. We have the pot tub time machine room. Oh, wow. Look at that. <laughs> a rat. Is that a rat? Yes. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. And what, what is this? Is this just balls right here? Yep, good balls. Oh man, that is so cool. It's like an adult ball pit, if you will. High voltage. <laughs> this is the Moroccan themed room. Oh yeah. I just wanna sit down on it. Oh. This is really cool. This is one of my favorite Yeah, yeah by far. Like it's just like very chill. Very chill. Wow. Yeah, I can't stay long or I'll take a nap. And then right here we have the boudoir. The boudoir. Um, traditionally there was a boudoir between kitchens and bedrooms where women had like a powdering room, kind of room to freshen up type deal. So that's what this is modeled after. Oh, very cool. And how come this is blocked off? Just... I think these were actually in the house, a lot oh. of these pieces. That's exciting. Yeah, they're beautiful as well. And then this is the speakeasy where people report feeling the most So this is the uneasy. one. Yeah. Okay, yeah, this definitely looks like where you would have like a medium here trying to call somebody yeah. with a family. Is this original over here or is this like a maybe? Mm, I, I don't, don't know. Tell you about that piece. I do apologize. That is cool. Right? And then this is an artistic kind of walkthrough experience. I believe by Shannon Barber and Grime. Allie Grimm, A.L. Grimm. Awesome. Whoa. This is freaking awesome. So you've had, like, all these rooms were done by artists. Yeah. Each one was in, wow. Um, the art installation <clears throat> ones, yes, there are, like, the Victorian room. That was just done by a house designer that they hired to make it modeled after the original era. Okay. Um, the 70s mod one was very similar. They hired on a designer to do that sort of thing. Okay. And then these ones where they really walk into our artist experiences. Uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, each room has just been, like, mind-blowing. I love it. Wow. Oh man, the eyes. So cool. Huh. Alright, so I was just inside with Cody. She gave me the full scoop on this whole place. Totally cool, amazing, beautiful artwork inside. The building itself is really, really awesome. I mean, the history, the way it still stands, it's just so very well taken care of. So I'm walking around back here and this is where all the back doors come out. And she was saying that there was a tunnel that goes from underneath here to this building right here. Now this building is a dispensary here in Colorado. You guys all know what a dispensary is. Um, and of course I'm behind the marijuana museum. Now there's supposed to be a tunnel that goes from underneath to this place right over here. And it shows that it's open. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look inside here. All right guys, so I went ahead and checked out the inside of that place i couldn't record in there well i didn't ask because i know you probably shouldn't but i went ahead and got myself a nice little baggie right here all right we haven't even started the paranormal investigation yet but this thing is going off off and on in this area oh there it goes <laughs> yeah see it's lowering itself and then it goes up and it's only going on right here i have the secondary emf detector All right, now this one was picking up something early. Oh, here we go. Now it's picking up something right here. It's not coming from the walls. It's not coming from the floor. And it's not coming from the ceiling either because, well, we went up there and I can't even reach up there. <laughs> so something's going on right here. Like something was standing on the steps watching us talk or something. It's gone. It was like that. And it's like flickering. So, wow. Yeah, so I kind of got, that is so weird. And the temperature is kind of just acting weird too. I got a temperature control here. Interesting. So it'll. Oh, that's really Oh, there it out. goes. I guess 
It's coming in and out. That is so weird. So right here is a hot spot. Okay, so that one showed out. All right, we got high activity going on right here at the entrance. <laughs> Whatever it is, it seems to be hanging around Cody a lot. Um, we're here, and honestly, I don't feel any bad energy. Whatever it is, it's a peaceful spirit. Mm -hmm. And it's obviously trying to tell us something. There's a very commonality with people talking about how they would feel something behind them in this household. And I definitely have felt footsteps behind me, or heard footsteps behind me on the stairwell. Yeah, look at this. There we go. EMF is going off. This one's going off. All the way to 0.2925. Something's going on here. EMF's going off. The rim pod's going off. They both can pick up on different energy levels. Um, so there's definitely some type of energy source here, no doubt. Obviously, it's setting off three different detectors that I have. And something is really close by the rim pod. It's either standing next to you or between us or literally in the table. Um, but this seems to be a hot spot. And I'm really wondering now that I saw the... Uh, basement goes underneath if something's like underneath right here maybe Bobby's underneath us and his bones linger there we don't know what do you think about that Bobby would you like us to go down there <laughs> stand touch make the rim pod go off if you'd like us to go down there <laughs> okay. it almost felt like a silence throughout the whole house right yeah. now Actually, I almost got a little chill. It did go quiet. I kind of got like a little chill. Like, I just kind of like goosebumps almost. Wow, something's going on here. Let me get the EVP. After receiving some evidence with the rim pod and EMFs, I then decide to go lights off. Alright, we got high activity. I got the chills right now. I 100% got the chills. I'm putting a ball right here, Bob. That's what we're calling you? Okay. I don't know if you like that. This doesn't even want to stay. Alright, it's right there. Go ahead and roll that ball. Man, I got a cold breeze right here. You're right next to a heater, Robbie. I got a cold breeze. <laughs> I just felt a cold breeze. Go ahead and knock that ball right off the table. You're doing good. Go ahead and push it off. Just give it a little roll. Let us know you're here. Can you uh, make a noise for us? Can you move something? I put a ball on the table so you can let us know. You can make noises. Yeah, make a noise, knock something over, tap something, roll the ball. We're trying to help you out. Are you trying? when I talk. Okay. Every time. Okay. All right. I'm not going to sit here. Come over here so you can tell me if you see anything. Maybe I'm too close. If you see any type of orb, something move, it could be quick. Go ahead. Ask questions. Um, anything that comes to your mind. Hi, Bobby. Uh, can you move the ball or let us know some way that you're here? I'm very curious about you. You seem very curious about me as well. It's not even on the table? No. There's nothing electronic? That no. I, wow. We have a card reader, actually. No. But that's just Bluetooth activated, so it's it? probably sitting off right so now. Like... It's not doing anything. No. No, that's not it. 
Okay, let's try something different here. Something different here. Something different here. Okay, what we're going to do here, turn off this camera. Hi, Bobby. Okay, Do you prefer when I talk to you? We're going to do another experiment here. Uh, we have a ball. It's actually an eyeball bouncy ball we were using on the table earlier. We're going to go ahead and put it on the floor here, try a different test, and try to get some EVP. So let's see how that works out. Hi, Bobby. Would you move the ball for us so we can know that you're here? Do you like that Cody works here with you? Do you like Cody? Do you feel trapped inside this house? Do you like all the people coming through this house? Okay, we know you're here with us. Would you do us a favor and move that wall? I got the chills real quick. Me too. I'm gonna start recording on this one. You can move anything to show us a sign. You can move a door, roll the ball. Will you knock if you were a member of the Cresswell family? If you enjoy our company here, and you like us being here with you, please go ahead and stand by the fireplace. And stand by the fireplace. And stand by the fireplace. Or make a knock.
As I finish up my investigation with Cody, I am then introduced to the manager, April. We continue to investigate the second floor, in another room known to be active. As I set up the cameras, you can see things fly across the screen that I can't exactly explain. Time was cut short, but in conclusion, I guarantee you this mansion is definitely haunted. I would like to come back and continue my investigation, but if you find yourself in Denver, Colorado, don't forget to check out the Marijuana Mansion. You won't be disappointed.